Hi, I'm Judith Fallon Reed, and this is week one of exchanging pain for praise, the real work. And so today we'll be exchanging pain for prayer. What is prayer? I was raised to believe that prayer takes place when you close your eyes and bow your head and speak to God in a very special way. I was made to believe that this was done in a moment of silence, preferably on your knees and if possible, in your closet. And then I became a Christian and then I got to know God. Over the years, I've learned that prayer takes on different forms. In church on Sunday morning, it can sometimes be very long and verbose, very holy and almost rehearsed. In the face of an impending car crash, it is quick and earnest. Before a dying loved one, it is gut-wrenching and pleading. And in response to a salary increase, it is praise-filled and excited. Prayer is many things to many people. Some treat prayer like a get-out-of-jail-free card in Monopoly. A request for instant forgiveness for a trespass done. A sign of piousness and righteousness a farce and a front in a foolish attempt to deceive man while forgetting that God you cannot deceive. Yet prayer is none of these things. It is a sincere conversation with a sovereign God that changes things. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing, without ceasing. Wow, what a concept, what an idea. Living your life in a constant state of prayer is an awesome thing. Forever in a state where you are mindful of the presence of God and the fact that he hears and speaks in all circumstances at all times. A conscious knowledge that he is truly everywhere at every time and that there are no barriers to reaching him or hearing from him except those that we create through our own thoughts and our own behaviors. Praying at all times means constant communication with God. It means speaking and listening with our voices, our thoughts, and our deeds. Communication is a tricky thing, though. It's often misunderstood. True communication requires understanding. A thought misunderstood is a thought miscommunicated. And so it is with prayer. You speak, God listens. God responds and you listen. And in the speaking and listening, there is full understanding, then that is prayer. Get into that state of prayer. Share your pain with God and allow him to share his pain with you. Yes, his pain. His pain that comes from seeing you live a life less fulfilling than what he planned. The pain of watching his creation stumble and fall despite the boundless love he pours out every day. Reason with God. Do more than simply send up supplications and complaints. Share with him your small joys and allow him to share his small joys with you. The joy of knowing that you took the time to share with him the way you do the way with your friends, on social media or in the workplace. The joy of knowing that you took the time to share with him the way you do with your friends on social media or even in the workplace. Incorporate your conversation with God into every aspect of your life. When you bite into a sweet fruit and you smile with delight, tell him how it tastes and how happy you are that he made that specific fruit just for you to enjoy. And when you complete the work project that you thought you could never finish, invite him into the celebration. God takes pride in our accomplishments. He laughs with us when we're happy. He cries with us when we shed our tears. And he loves to hear us sing. He desires to be in our every moment if we only let him. He loves speaking with us too. And he delights when we listen and respond. He loves conversations. God loves relationships. If you can begin to think of God as your father and not just your heavenly father sitting on a throne, looking down and speaking with a deep voice from the clouds like James Earl Jones, but as your daddy, papa, then you will see how easy it is to develop this relationship of, with God of which I speak. Then you won't think of God as a genie whose belly you can rub when it suits you to get three wishes nor as an ATM card that dispenses blessings at will. 
nor as an untouchable king in a court that you dare not enter without bringing gifts and passing through the proper protocols of bodyguards and secretaries. Instead, you will see God as sovereign yet down to earth with his people, gracious and sympathetic towards your plight and accessible at all times to those whom he calls sons and daughters. As you grow more comfortable with the idea that praying doesn't mean close your eyes, clasp your hands, but instead it means a relationship with a real God in whose image and likeness we were created, then you will find yourself praying without ceasing and you will begin to exchange your pain for prayer. Your thought at the end of this meditation is, prayer is the cord that rings the bell that gets God's attention. Constant prayer is the note that keeps his attention with you all day. I'm glad you're taking this journey with me, exchanging your pain for praise. Check out my website, Jay Fallon Reed. Check me out on YouTube or find me on all my social media platforms. I'd love to hear from you.